Keep your heads lifted up. Jerusalem is surrounded by armies and our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's 1 Corinthians 3, 9. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. His vessel. His temple. And before I show you what he just showed me, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And he said the signs of his coming would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And they are. So throw your calendars in the trash because his calendar are the lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And he put them there for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And I will not set a rapture date, but I will show you his perfection in his signs. And they line up perfectly with the last two eclipses that we just passed. In all glory to our Father, I showed you that the next eight eclipses are backwards. They flip. But these last two eclipses, the sun went dark and then the moon was darkened. In the last video I just put out, the title was Abstain from All Appearance of Evil. And it's obvious that he was giving us the heads up to not participate in Halloween because it's evil. And it's obvious that he was preparing us for his coming because the next verse is, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he showed us that the Revelation 12 sign was on September 19th and child was in the woman. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And his sign let us write to Israel being attacked. And now they're at war. And Israel was invaded and attacked on October 7th. And seven days later was the ring of fire eclipse on October 14th. The wedding ring eclipse. And I just showed you Genesis 1.14. And it's very clear that God uses the sun and the moon for his calendar. And now I'm going to show you that that first eclipse on October 14th looks like it marked the Feast of Trumpets. And the Jewish people started celebrating the Feast of Trumpets on Friday, September 15th. And it ran to Yom Kippur, the last day, September 25th. It's a 10-day period, the 10 days of awe. And on October 7th, while they were celebrating the last day, the seventh day of the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, Simchat Torah, and four days later, they started celebrating Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. And that's a total of 14 days. And remember, God's calendar is the sun and the moon. And on October 14th, it was the wedding ring eclipse. And 14 days later was October 28th, the partial blood moon eclipse that we just passed. And on God's calendar, that looks like it marked the beginning of the Feast of Tabernacles. And while they were celebrating the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles, October 7th, Israel was attacked. And again, God's calendar is marked by the sun and the moon. So by God's calendar, it looks like the eclipse marked the beginning of the Feast of Tabernacles, October 28th. And as you can see right here on time and date calculator, you can see right here that November 4th would be the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles, the seventh day. And that would make the following day, November 5th, the mysterious eighth day. Simchat Torah, or Simchat Torah. Wait for it, it will not tarry. 
And here's what's beyond gigantinormous, family. When you count from November 5th, 2023, the mysterious eighth day, and you add the length of the seven-year tribulation, 2,520 days, it lands on September 29th, 2030. And if the rapture's in four days on November 5th, we would come back on September 29th, 2030 with Jesus Christ, with the new Jerusalem. And this is so gigantinormous. And it could be his perfection and him showing us that that's when we would be coming back with him. And September 29th, 2030 is Rosh Hashanah, the Hi. Feast of Trumpets. This is completely, perfectly lined up. And the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles, Shemini Atzeret, is the eighth day of the Solemn Assembly, the festival of the eighth day of Sukkot, the Feast of Booths, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Weddings. And biblically, the eighth day represents the new creation ushered in by Christ's resurrection. For Christians, it has become the first of all days, the first of all feasts, the Lord's Day, Sunday. Again, this is perfectly, completely lined up because November 5th is Sunday, daylight savings time. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened.